Hi guys, it's Funk here at Scale Street Garage and uh, today's little project is this Honda as you'll see it's, uh, it's arrived with no wheels uh, it's not going to stay like this, it's going to be um, it's going to be modified and let's try and make a drift car time to uh, pull it apart somebody's been into this before um, for some reason, don't know why, they've taken the wheels um, I picked it up in a, a charity shop and the only reason I picked it up was I thought, I like the shape of that so I've had this uh, this ticking around in my mind for a little while to have a go at this one um, I, haven't, I haven't ventured into it for the simple reason being is I've never done one before. This is my first attempt at doing what I would class as a, a drift car. And say I took it apart then, there's no interior. <laughs> there's not even interior in it and don't know. No, I'll give up with that one. Just, uh, just going to pull this glass out. Just changing the drill bit over. I'm, uh, I'm going to speed things up now because uh, this was quite a long video, so um, I've speeded up quite a lot. All I'm doing there is just punching um, some um, indents into the, or centre punching, um, the panels where I'm actually going to cut out. So my drill can go in there, it doesn't slide around everywhere. And for all of you thinking, <gasps> drilling towards yourself, should never do that. I am actually being very careful. So all the um, all the little ventors, etc., um, in the well, where you would have um, a mesh. Or an air vent for cooling the brakes down, etc., etc. Um, I'm just going to draw them all out for the minute, and then, like I said, I'm going to get the jeweler's saw and remove the panel, each individual little one. So this is a. Um, this is a style that I've not done before. Uh, this is all new to me. Um, looking forward to some feedback on this one, guys. I uh, removed the rear spoiler there because it was um, it looked way too thick. So I'm going to change it for a um, a thin styrene one, but I'm going to change the style of it as well. So also it's a, a four door and we're not going to have a four door, we're going to have a two door. I know technically the two doors, um, the doors are larger. Um, but I think on a, on a 164th scale, um, this is actually a, a little Chinese, um, Chinese car. So it's, it's not a, a brand name. So I don't, I don't think it'll show up too much. I don't think it's a, a true representation. I looked at it and thought that looks like a Honda, um, but actually looking on it, um, the emblems have got M on there, not H's. So uh, I'm presuming it's not. I'm, uh, I'm sure somebody will enlighten me on what model it, it actually is. I'm great with the uh, with the old classics, but not the newer cars. I 
I done quite well here. I only broke one blade. Um, if any of you's got these saws or use these saws, you'll know that these blades are uh, extremely fragile. Can't put any pressure on as such. You have to let the saw do the cutting. What I've actually found out is that uh, it's better to not have the uh, the blade too tight in the actual uh, in in the grip, so that way if it does bind, it actually pulls the blade out rather than snaps the blade. I know it looks like I'm holding it cack handed there, not using the handle, but the uh, the handle was in the way of the camera. So if I'd uh, used the handle, I would have probably kept knocking onto the camera. You thought my hand would have been in the way and you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. Great little things these saws. Very very handy. If uh, if any of you are doing these uh, these die casts and you're cutting them up and you haven't got one of these saws, it's well worth the investment. They're not that expensive. trying to get in there with the uh, with the file but because I haven't got any little needle files I couldn't actually get my file in there so I'm just about to use the rotary tool just to clean up the edges And yes, guys, cut to the bottom of the uh, the front bumper off was intentional. As you'll see in a little while, the reason why. And uh, this build was uh, certainly a test for me. Uh, it was my biggest challenge up to now, I think. It's 
Um, some of some of you will have already seen this car. Um, if you're on the the diecast Renegades and Hoodlums group, and uh, you've definitely seen this car. I wasn't going to post it up on here. I did lose some footage. I've managed to salvage as best I can, but. We've made a video from it. It's to be honest, it's mainly the end part that I lost anyway. Um, I didn't realise, but the the hard drive was full on the camera, so it stopped recording. So right, um, we have got a few photos of this as well. So. There are, there are a few photographs in, in this video. There we go. And that goes into the, uh, into the strip for 15 minutes. And that's how it came out. Well, it came out looking a bit messier, but that's after a, a quick washing warm soapy water. Once again, the usual um, nozzle cleaner for the airbrush. Love this little tool. Absolutely handy. A quick po quick polish up or a quick clean up now with the with the rotor tool. Um, there's just a, a standard wire attachment on here. Only takes a minute to whiz over it. It's no oxidisation on it whatsoever. She's in the old humbrol filler just to uh, fill in some um, some deep scratches from filing and also the um, the rear door handles as well. Um, like I say, we're going from a, a four door to a two door, so we don't want we don't want them handles. This is the Humbrol filler, it's um, really good stuff, very very impressed with it it was. And this is the reason why I cut that bottom part of the, um, the bumper off, because I'm actually putting the lip on there. And it's going to replace the, the middle bottom section completely. This is a 0.5 styrene sheet. Just cut it out rough for the minute, stick it on and then we can sand it back to the actual shape we want. And now for the uh, the new rear spoiler or aerofoiler, some people call them. As you'll see, no measurements. This is all just done on the fly.
Let's make sure they're the same. Marking the middles. And then just a, another piece just for the top where I'm going to have a, a double fin. Just to be different. I just point some spats over the top of the wheel arches. Fiddly little buggers, especially when it sticks to your fingers. So let's be sensible, shall we? Let's uh, let's use some tweezers. <laughs> I'm just imagine everybody said to us, "In what are you doing? You meant to use tweezers." There we go guys, this is just some photographs, um, just to show how it came out with the, um, with the styrene on there, and uh, all, the, all the holes cut out, there is more video coming up guys, there's just a few photos in between, and uh, just shot it there with some white primer. And there's its there's its base coat, nice shiny black. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do some hand graphics. And uh, obviously this is uh, long and tedious work, so I I am actually going to speed it up for you guys. It's the first attempt at doing any anime as well, so this is a new area for me to uh, to try and venture into. So 
So this uh, this build's completely pushed me out of my comfort zones, to be honest. Uh, glad I've done it, enjoyed doing it, and I'm actually looking forward to doing a, another one. Uh, you'll see me darting backwards and forwards. The only reason being is uh, just allowing the paint to dry and so I can get back in there. And some of you will know I I almost gave up on this and I wasn't I wasn't happy and then I I left it overnight and came back to it again and and carried on. Had a had a, another another go at it. Good fun though trying to work in uh, in this scale freehand I must admit. A bit of the old rising sun there. And what I did find out was this vice is is it's invaluable for this job. Absolutely fantastic. Because you can tilt it and twist it and turn it around. And this is this is where I run out of footage guys. Just about to make a start on the sides and then the hard drive was full. So uh that that's as far as we get on that one guys. Um here it is beforehand as you'll see, no wheels, it's in pretty good condition, it was a four door, it's now a two, removed the old spoiler, drilled out all the vents, um Nice new spoiler on there, new front end. Oh, you're ready for this, guys? For first attempt, I'm pretty happy with this one. Quite happy with the out outcome on this. So I'd love some uh, love some feedback, guys. Let us know what you think. Um, any of you who've done these, please give us some pointers. I'd like to say thank you all for watching. I'd like to say thanks to all my new subscribers. Hope you're enjoying. And play more videos to come up. Please share. Please like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Cheers everyone. Bye for now.